Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming. We are back here in Prison Architect. It is episode 73. That is a big, big number. And uh, yeah, we uh, brought in, of course, 73 prisoners. It is actually a little bit past 8 a.m. And uh, the first prisoners are rolling in. I did spend a bit of time letting time tick by just to get some money. And uh, I had my workmen chop all these trees down from that... Uh, Oh, bothersome um, <laughs> forestry apocalypse. And uh, yeah, we have absolutely no trees left in. Oh, we do. We have one tree in storage. Interesting. But uh, yeah, I got this back up and running. And unfortunately, I never got around to. Where is it? Uh, prison labor. Getting the clean cover back up and running. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Laundry, yeah, that would be useful. That's fine. And how about that? Anyway, one thing I had done, in addition to uh, prettying up the prison, as you can see, I have some new grass and some concrete paths and stuff like that that weren't there before. I also converted this spot into a holding cell for, of course, you guessed it, maximum security or super max prisoners. Yes, indeed. I decided to upgrade all these guys to super max, volatile, 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 extremely deadly in skater, volatile, deadly, deadly and quick. You know what? I might need more guards in here. <laughs> Um, hmm, there are, what, uh, three, four, five, six, seven in the holding cell against two guards. Yeah, I might want to have a few more guards in here for reasons. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll just add one more. And if trouble kicks off, well, um... We're going to have to do something about that. <laughs> I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, um, yeah, this is going to be fine. And another thing, I was looking at the food distribution, and we are pretty well good for a food distribution. I had ended up hiring a whole lot of cooks to cook me a lot of meals, and... I went overboard, I believe, and I do have 29 cooks now, which is a little bit excessive, I feel, but uh, it is what it is. But uh, with that said, another reason with the food distribution, I think what might have been happening, I can't really confirm exactly, but I believe that there is something with the shakedown that causes guards to interrupt the cooks that are cooking. The meals that were cooked get uh, searched and then tossed out, apparently. So they, if you are doing a shakedown during, for instance, the early morning here, then what will likely happen is you don't have meals to serve for mealtime. I most likely believe that was what's happening because... Right now, we have more than enough cooks, and I usually don't do the shakedown during the day, which is why the second mealtime was not interrupted. It kind of sucks that way, like a shakedown to just completely break your food distribution. And uh, I haven't really canceled or deleted any of the cooks. I really don't want to have 29 cooks because of reasons. Yeah, staff wage is 4700 all because I decide, you know what, I need a whole bunch of cooks. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, we have a lot of a uh, fair decent amount of janters and uh, gardeners, four doctors. We got uh, 64 guards, and I haven't really added any more since. But uh, with the new 73 that are coming in, I probably might want to. And if we take a look at intelligence and informants, I believe that, yeah, I already, just before hitting record, 
I set these guys to permanent punishment, lockdown permanent, and it's just a matter of waiting for the next buses to come in. We do have 24 minimum security. We are bringing in 22 maximum security as well as 20... 7 normal security or 26 normal security. I don't know exactly. We did also bring in one death row inmate. And uh, he will be coming in eventually. But uh, we did have one on the intake. Currently we still have Benjamin Totil. Who is of course a snitch. But uh, yeah this is going to be rather interesting how this thing turns out. I gave each of the prisoners a bed. As well as a toilet. Just, uh, yeah. So they're going to have to deal with this. And I might... I'm a little bit concerned about... No, it should be fine. It should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to for the moment... Uh, objects, I have $47,000. I'm going to put a jail door there. And I'm going to make this a yard. Rooms, yard. We'll just make this for now. Yard. Although I have a feeling that uh, prisoners might get stuff thrown in through here. So I may have to do something like this. If we... Uh, something like here... Yep, so that should be good. If I build another fence right about here, may as well. So that is 11 to there. I'm hoping 11, that is good. But uh, yeah, we will do that. And I might as well, you know what I'm going to do here. We're gonna give them a little bit of a yard just for reasons. And that is just so that I don't have to send them elsewhere. Right now, I do have to have the cantina shared. Or maybe lock them down permanently. But uh, let's take a look at intelligence. We've had three buses roll in. Go to the informant screen and snitch. Adam Howell, sentenced to 13 years for possession intent to supply. You are a snitch. Yes, indeed. You are protective custody. You, sir, Christopher, the rabid penguin, Sederstrom. Responsible for the premeditated deaths of 12 people, this man earned his nickname. When it was discovered, he had developed a chemical that, had, that gave penguins similar symptoms to rabies and used them so that they would consume his victims leaving no evidence. Really? Rabid penguins. <laughs> well, about that, uh, yeah, we don't know anything about you, so you are going, getting lockdown permanent, and I believe, yep. Yeah. So, let's see what's next. We have you. Alex Crease, you are getting a lockdown permanent. And we have a stoical prisoner. We also have Simon Chislet Trim. We don't know anything about you. So lockdown for you as well. We got a tough snitch. Really. <laughs> Paul Waits. Sentenced to 15 years for manslaughter. We are going to yeah, snitch. You are protective custody. Instigator, you are supermax, I think. Yeah, you're going to be supermax. You're in the uh, holding cell. Stoical, you're fine. Who's next? So that is the... We have... Was it four minimum security buses? Or three minimum security buses. At least four normal security buses. And three maximum security buses. Where's the next bus? You guys are coming out. 
and okay we need food all right what's next anyway let's take a look at some of our prisoners anyone that's locked up currently that we know nothing about you're good okay you are good nope pretty much so what we are probably going to do is have to uh, grab a one of our uh, yeah you are going to be locked down permanent you're going to have to grab one of our informants and see if we can learn some more stuff about people. Tough. There's the next bus. It has some maximum security prisoners. We don't know anything about you, so you're going to be locked down permanent. Same thing with you. You are going to be locked down permanent. And there's some more tree purchases. That's no problem. And what I'm going to do... Have they not finished this? I did put lay, lay down the foundations for that. And uh, looks like, yeah, I have a pretty decent amount of money if I want to expand and build a actual dedicated Supermax uh, facility. Even more trucks. Really. Please stop buying the trees. <laughs> yep. Really? Come on, guys. Any more buses? Is that it? That can't be it. Where's my death row prisoner? Do I got my death row inmate? No, I don't. Let's crank it up to speed too, because that could be an issue. Please tell me that this is connected. This has to be connected. Yeah. It's just taken my guards a while to get through the queue. So, would I be able to... Not really. This thing is a little bit too small. I got four. Mm. We might have to build a bigger security office. Well, about that. Where is my death row? Death row is right here. You know what? I'm going to make this a security office now. <laughs> uh, security. I knew there was a reason why I was making or saving this. We're going to do deployment. Yep, staff only. That's fine. And I'm going to throw in door controls. Put door control there. Door control there. I'm going to need a office chair, office desk, chair, and filing cabinet. What I'm going to do is put the filing cabinet right here in the corner. I will put the, yep, like that, and an office desk like that. Then I can put some things along here. It'll be all good. And do we have any more? No, we don't. We're still just bringing in supply trucks. Really? I should have some more. I do I only have intake yeah let's hire us some more guards because of reasons two three and four 
Let's go to five. All right, there is another bus. Oh, look at that. You are going to be locked down permanent. You as well. You, oh yes indeed, you as well. Al Fingers Lindsay, a dangerous individual with an insatiable greed for contraband guitars and outlawed studio gear. Locked down. You are going to be locked down. Actually, yeah, this is a face in the game edition one. This is a limited edition. Only, uh, what was it, 100, 500 of them were available. You paid a little bit extra. I think it was $100 and you got your actual face drawn in the prison architect style. St tough, installical, instigator. Strong, what's that, stoical and fearless? You got nothing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you, Oli Bessie Edershaw. You, we don't know anything about. Hey, yourself. <laughs> yeah, when you lock them down, they say, Hey! <laughs> uh, we are going to send the instigator to... Uh, well, he's already maximum security. I don't really want to put us another instigator into the... Uh, into wherever it is. The, uh, the super max. <laughs> That'd be a little much. But uh, is that it for buses? Uh, intelligence informants. Actually, no. Less uh, one of these is a death row. Actually, no. We had 73 prisoners coming in. That should be nine, ten buses. 72 prisoners would be nine, and the last prisoner. Who would be, of course, in death row is on the last bus. So we should have one more bus coming in at least. There it is. And if I'm not mistaken, there he is. Stoical and skilled fighter, Richard Herford. You, sir, are on death row. Stoical, skilled fighter, yeah. Sentenced to 25 years for multiple crimes, including murder, attempted murder, and murder. Okay, and I repeat myself. Murder, 25 years. Attempted murder, 19 years. Murder, 25 years. Aggravated assault, 10 years. Rape, 10 years. Aggravated assault, 12 years. You have a 43% likelihood of clemency. So, yeah. Anyway, we are obviously not going to be bringing in 73 more prisoners because I have no more cells to uh, place. But uh, we are down to 39,000. I think I started this day with 47,000. And grass. They're still not done that. Yeah, they have to do that. Let's uh, put that in. And so I will be thinking, obviously, about getting my death row, or not death row, my supermax set up. And because of reasons, because the game ordered me 14 glass doors, I think what I'm going to do is a similar step as my second prison, where I have their cells as enclosed with, or surrounded by glass doors, or rather, glass walls with glass doors. Yes, indeed. So, with that said, we just have to get through, of course, the intake. And is this the last bus? Yep. All right. Let's, uh... Yeah, we'll want to pay attention to Benjamin, because he is a death row. And he's a snitch. But, uh, yeah. Office desk and chair. 
We have the door controls. Yeah, they are getting strip searched and searched and searched and searched. What do we got here? A knife. Of course we have a knife here. Anyway, uh, what I may do... Why is this planning here? Do I have any other planning marks I can get rid of? Well, these ones. Um... Yep, these ones as well. Those, those. Assuming, yep, those as well. All right. I also started splitting these off just so it'd be a little bit more convenient. And that's what I might as well do, get these individual cell blocks built, or at least ready to be segregated. Like that. And I'm going to put in the large gel door right here and here. Just to secure those off. Are they finished with this yet? Foundation, building concrete. Seriously? Ten dollars? Please! <laughs> Get this done! Reform program. Oh, there we go. And we do not want any lights. Oh, bother. Um... Cancel those. Also going to cancel those. No! Oh, you. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Now I have to uh, replace those. All right. What do we got for room quality? We got uh, Ackman entitled to a grade eight cell. Really? I really wish this would pop out from the, the background. This is so annoying. Because you can't really see what it is. So there's actually people who are entitled to these cells. Occupant is entitled. Alright, well you can... Uh, at the bottom of the tooltip it says there an Occupant is entitled to. And the, otherwise I'll say unoccupied. So, it looks like we have some maximum security cell prisoners who are actually entitled to those. That's uh, pretty good. And you know what? You here... Whoever you are, you really should be moved down to there. But uh, at this point in time, I'm going to probably have to spend some time off camera replanning out a simple but effective maximum or super max facility. I most likely down here. I'll probably have something like uh, a canteen here. Right across from the kitchen. That would make sense. I want to have cell blocks, something like over here. Probably have a yard here. I didn't like how it was a vertical the other way. Um, I'll have my prisoner services over here. And... Something like that. I could always put my yard here. And my cell blocks over here. 
Although, I have a maximum safe capacity of 298 prisoners. I have 272 prisoners overall. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to plan this out because of reasons. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for me today. We are getting through this intake and... I solved or I took care of the issues with uh, the prisoners coming in, those requiring you know the permanent punishment as well as transferring over the snitches before they got into reception. So I don't even have to worry about that anymore. So that is good. But uh, yeah, I'm going to spend a bit of time to do a redesign of my maximum security or my super max cell block here, and then we will pick up where I've left off here. Thank you for watching this episode of Prison Architect. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.